wonder how things are going in Niez. I hope Bayfon and the others are safe. No one's doing anything. They're all just standing there. I don't understand. Nazamil didn't order her puppets to attack? Or maybe it just hasn't started yet. I'm sorry. Huh? It wasn't supposed to be like this. I'm sorry. Wait! What? I'm sorry. I thought it would make you happy. I'm sorry. Wh what is going on? Hey! There's Bayfon! I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are they all being manipulated by the masks? The suppressors? <sighs> Not some you. Huh? Wait. If Bayfon is like this, then do you think the inn is okay? Let's go see. What is going on with these people? I'm glad they're not attacking us. But why do they keep apologizing? At this rate, there might not be anyone left not wearing a mask. And Nazamil plans to do this to the entire world? <sighs> I hope the inn hasn't been compromised. With Bayfon like that, who knows what's happened? In. We're done for! No, look, we're not wearing those masks. Oh, thank goodness. I thought for sure. I'm relieved to see some people are still safe. Can you tell us anything about what happened here? Those masked weirdos out front went berserk all of a sudden and tried to force their way in here. Bayfon said he would lure them away and left us. So you've been hiding here. Renans and Danans, all hunkered down together. They didn't hesitate to let me in when I feared for my life. This lady saved me with her astral arts. I never thought I'd see everyone working together like this. That young man said the masked people went berserk. Right. Except Nazamil said she'd already sent out orders before we got to her. Okay, but if that's what initiated the attack, then why have they stopped and gone docile now? And when they talked, it... It was Nazamil's consciousness. You said so yourself, didn't you, Alfin? That does fit with what Nazamil was saying before. How she was changing people's minds to make them the same as her? And now... She's wearing a mask, and must be in the same state as the people outside. Assuming the reigning visage has the same effects on the wearer as the suppressors, what would happen if she were to interface with the Keystone? The purpose of connecting to the Keystone was to send orders. But if Nazamil is also under the control of a suppressor... Uh, maybe everyone outside has gone quiet. 
because they've become the same as Nazamil is right now. But if that's the case, then what was up with all that stuff they said? I suppose they must have been Nazamil's true feelings. I don't know how it all works, but that has to be it. All of those masked people apologizing to us, if those were actually Nazamil's thoughts, then... We have to help her. We have to find a way to show her that we aren't mad at her. But if we want to get to the Keystone, we have to find a teleporter. Oh! A Don Lake! That's right. There's a teleporter there. We have the coordinates we need. Let's go before... Wait. If we're right about what's going on, then it may mean that we'll have to face Nazamil. Before we finally head out, we'll need to make sure we're all prepared for that possibility. She's right. We can't afford to fail. We should rest up and tend to our gear. Right. Let's call it a day. Those people outside will just have to hold on for a little longer. There's something I can't figure out. Assuming that the Keystone is putting the people in those masks in the same state of mind as Nazamil right now. How did Nazamil become like that? It was because she put on the mask, right? Yes. However, when Cal Basil first showed up in the Ez, Nazamil was wearing the mask. But then when we saw her after that, she wasn't wearing it anymore. Could that mean she wasn't being controlled by it at first? Perhaps the mind control function is something that can be shut off. At least with Nazamil's mask. The reigning visage. That would mean Nazamil went to the trouble of turning that function on before putting on the mask again. I don't get it. If we were simply in the way, there was no need for her to do that after we defeated her. We couldn't have been in the way. She said she's doing all of this for us, didn't she? She also said we're her friends. That may be so, but Nazamil still attacked us when we tried to stop her. It seemed like she wasn't listening to what we were saying. It was like we were talking past each other. We're still overlooking something. Whatever it was that drove Nazamil to the point of fighting us, even before she gave up and erased herself. If we want to help her, we need to find out what that is before we see her again. I think we're ready. Let's all rest up today. Then tomorrow, we'll head out to confront Nazamil. I wonder what she's doing right now. She's still under the mask's control. It is possible that she can't see or feel anything. Even so, her heart is crying out. And I think... It's my fault that it is. Your fault? How do you figure? I've been thinking about it non-stop. When we had to fight Nazamil, where did I go wrong? Nazamil tried to take over people's minds, to control them. That is wrong. There's no excuse for it. But in the end, Ultimately, she did it for us. Yeah, she did say that. She had no place where she belonged. To her, it must have seemed like the rest of the world didn't even exist. So when she joined us, it was like we became her entire world. We were her first friends. So when we rejected her too, it meant Nazamil lost her whole world. That's why she was so devastated that she tried to erase her own mind. 
from the beginning? All she wanted was to earn our approval. And I flat out rejected her. Because I didn't understand. I was so focused on rebuking her actions that I couldn't empathize with her. Let's show her we're sorry. Then we can hold hands with her, like we did before. I'm sure the charm will help us reconnect. Shouldn't you get some sleep? In theory, yes. But I knew you were off by yourself somewhere, lost in thought. <sighs> I can't hide anything from you, can I? I'm sorry. No, I guess I should say thank you. Thanks for what, exactly? For letting me drag you into this life of non-stop travel. For staying with me for all this time. For everything. I've been called a hero, a destroyer, and things even worse than that. But you stayed with me, Xion. Even right now, as you're thanking me, Nazamiel is all you can think about, right? I'm sorry. That's not your fault. That's just who you are, Alfin. But the truth of the matter is, that's why I'm here. If you weren't such a caring person, that wouldn't be the case. Shion. And besides, you're not the only one who's worried about Nazamiel. I couldn't sleep either. When I look at her, I see myself. Saddled with a fate she never wanted. Treated like an outsider by everybody. Alone. You know that pain. Really, I think that we all do. Every one of us has scars like Nazamiel's. <clears throat> You're the one who saved me, Alfin. And along the way, I think we've all managed to save each other. That's why... I want to help Nazamiel however I possibly can. I want her to feel like she's not alone anymore. Listen, there's something that I've been wanting to tell you. I think I'm ready to say it. Now that I'm prepared to move forward. Xion, what? Now's not the time. Uh, what? Not while we still have more important things to do. Uh, oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Try not to look so worried. I'm not going anywhere, okay? Is that all right? You're always five steps ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did everybody get enough rest? 
Let's get moving. Nazamil is waiting for us. Let's show her she has friends who care about her. And put an end to this chaos once and for all. That's right! Then we can have a tasty meal together. I guess that means I'll have to put all of my cooking skills to work, then. It's time. We're bringing her back, no matter what. We need to avoid provoking those masked guys. Yeah. Imagine if they all swarmed us at once. Uh, hey! Quit it! Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Order. Let's hope it works. <sighs> What's wrong? This is where we found that good luck charm. Who would have thought we'd end up coming back in a situation like this? In the end, maybe it was the charm that guided us to this place. That should do it. Let's hope the coordinates are correct. I wonder if we'll end up fighting again. I can't say for sure, but we have to stop her. Yes, or everyone in those masks will stay that way forever. When Nazamil put on the mask, she said she should just... Dear, she erased herself with the mask. And now the people are shouting her feelings instead. People should speak their thoughts with their own mouths. More than that, they should be allowed to speak their own thoughts. Let's go. We don't know what's waiting for us on the other side. Keep your guard up, everyone. So we're finally here. For so long. I've been dying to see what kind of place could control all of the mausoleums, but... Are you having second thoughts about coming here? No way. Nazamil is what's most important right now. That's right. The mausoleums can wait, but we have no time to lose for Nazamil. Yeah, we need to hurry and get to her. Nazamil didn't care about anything, aside from us. But even so, she never wished to hurt anyone. Even that time with the Zugals back in Niez, she saved people even when they'd been horrible to her. You know, even when she manipulated the mask guys, no one ended up with any serious injuries. She's probably been like that since before we met her. I think so too. <sighs> she may not be used to dealing with others, but she has a kind nature. And yet, she was separated from her mother. Unloved by her father, and unjustly hurt by everyone she met. It would have been understandable for her to lash out at the world. Instead, she chose to erase herself. We can't let things end like this. We need to let her know that there are things in this world that she can believe in. <laughs> 